Right, so I managed to make it to the vehicle and I've got the box wet. <laughs> I knew this would happen. I should have taken it out before, but this is what you get in Meguiar's One Step Paint Care. We have One Step Paint Care, three in one, cleans, polishes, and protects. It says it removes smell marks, water spots, and blemishes, increased depth of gloss and color, cl color clarity, provides long lasting protection and care. So it is saying it removes swells, water spots, and blemishes. So it's a, it's a fine, um, high, high grain count sanding. I can imagine that's what it's saying, just on the lacquer to get rid of some swell marks. Um, it says it polishes, it cleans, I don't think it cleans, I think it polishes and then protects. So let's find out how we get on. You get a nice little Maguire pad, which is just, it's quite coarse this one. It's not as, um, it's not as light as the yellow ones you get, but uh, let's see how we get on. Right, I finished applying the product all around the car. Uh, just to bear in mind, I haven't done the wheels of this vehicle yet or the trim. But, God, I'm exhausted. Can you feel that in my, my breath? That takes a lot of effort to apply onto a car. Um, I would say use a polisher, but if you can get the polisher out anyway, you might as well just use Auto Glim's super fine resin, just polish it, and then apply a wax. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty big job. My arm is killing, but it's all been done. It's all put on. I haven't now mopped it off yet, so I wiped it off, but I will do. What I'll do is, I'm gonna do the wheels. Uh, Goodness me, I'll do the wheels, do the trim, and I'll check back with you once we do the unveiling. Alright, so now I'm gonna buff off this wax. Now um, I'm just gonna be a little bit quiet when I do this because uh, I don't I don't want to be breathing down the microphone. But it's got a nice smell to it, right? They um, they seem to have put a, a perfume in the wax, so the car, so for the people like sniffing other people's cars, um, it's got a nice smell to it. Right, let's just do this panel. Now, I can still see swell marks, annoyingly. Uh, yeah, so there's, there's still swell, I think you guys can see it, look. Still swell marks, across it's not wax, because I'm going this way. Uh, still got some swells. But I haven't done this by the way, so I'll try to compare this panel to this panel. Now this panel is a lot shinier and smooth, which is nice. Um, there's less swell marks, but only by a little bit. Uh, my conclusion to this is it looks nice. It doesn't get rid of swells as well as it, and I pushed hard, right? I mean, look at these swans, right? I, um, I actually pushed hard, and uh, I actually went to town specifically on that area, but um, you know what we can do? Let's get the polisher out and apply it and see what results we can get. Then I can decide whether it's down to me. Um, right, so we're going to try using a, po a polishing pad. This is a white polishing pad, but it's from a Japanese company. So if you ever buy, like, a stack of... Uh, five buffing cloths from China. Usually you take off about two gradients, so this is more of a, an orange, if not a kind of blue. <laughs> uh, so this is quite, this is medium to light, even though it is white, so this is really, uh, really light. So I'm just gonna do this panel, just this little bit here. So I just kept that little square. It looks shiny. Let's see what we've got. So I'm just going to buff this off. Okay. All right, I can see. I can see. I'll tell you what I can see. There's a lot less scratches here, and it feels nice and shiny. It feels like, I don't know how to scream it, but oily, but not oily as if it's coming off of my hand. So that must be the protection the oil part. Right, since I've used that compared to this, uh, right, I can make a solid conclusion. This is good in the sense that it does all three things. Yes, it does, uh, it, it is a very light resin, like Auto Glim's resin for polishing. Um, smells nice, does leave, I presume it leaves a protection, I mean I can feel some oily residue in that. Um, and uh, well, that's it, really. I mean, what is there to say? It does all three things, but is it better than you doing all those three processes individually? Well, that is the better option because 
if I've got to get the polisher out, <laughs> I might as well just polish the whole card. But if I'm applying a wax, I could put a better wax on, especially the turtle wax, graphite wax, which does a better job. So what I'm trying to say is, if you're willing to put in the hard effort of going around your car multiple times with that tiny little polishing pad, the hand one I showed you earlier, and go around, yes, <laughs> you can get a few more marks out, but that is gonna be a ridiculous process to most cars. What you wanna do is you wanna get a polisher like this one, a dual action or rotary. You can pop that stuff on it and do it, uh, but you do better just doing it individually. Just set some like auto glims, super resin, just polish it off and then uh, apply a coat, therefore you can be more meticulous. You're not gonna go around the entire car with that wax, it's absolutely exhausting. It's like applying that old wax um, that used to do back in the 50s, old 50s wax, where it just takes absolutely ages to apply. But that's it, so, right, so just to reconclude what I was saying, um, this stuff, yes, if you apply it, put it on a polisher, like this polisher here, you're gonna have a much better chance of actually making this work to as it says. It does say remove swells. I both polished it and did it with my hand over here and I didn't remove swells, but I did remove a lot of them. I mean, I'm pretty impressed with that, what it is. I mean, essentially what it is, it's, it is a super fine resin like um, Auto Glim do, but for a polisher, it's that's what it is with a wax undertone. Which, uh, which is quite clever how they do that. Surely you just buff off the wax immediately, but that does work. Would I switch it out? Um, no, I mean, what I'll do is I'll just polish the car, because I'm not going around the entire car with my hand and using that little pad to buff off the whole car, because I tried that and I didn't get anywhere with it. As soon as I put it on the polisher, it's much better. So unless you want to go around the whole car multiple times with your hand and polish it all off, be my guest, most people, or validators, are going to use a polisher. Ignore the dirtiness of that pad, I love it. Um, yeah, so overall, it's not bad, but you do better do each individual video process separately, because I don't even know what wax is in that. I mean, do you reckon that's a Meguiar's wax, or do you reckon it's just a unique wax they've just added on? I don't know, because I haven't left it enough time. But um, you do better doing each one of those processes individually, in my opinion. I hope you enjoyed the video, and see you again soon.